Using the by approval class security setting, you can have more control over class members. To check the settings for your class, navigate to the class in question, in this case, class 6. Select the settings icon, class settings, class code, and then you will be presented with two options. The open registration means that any member of the class can join immediately without approval. The by approval registration will mean that you will receive an approval request for each member before they are allowed to join your class. You will also need to ensure that your class has a class code. You may need to press the refresh icon to do this. Don't forget to press save. When you give your five digit class code to a teacher and they input it into their device, you will receive a push notification. You can tap on the push notification, navigate to teachers and see that there is a pending request. Tapping on the green tick will allow them into the class. The same happens with students. Giving the students the five digit code and then inputting it onto their device and clicking join will create a push notification on your iOS device. Tapping on this push notification, it will take you to the pending requests, where again, you can click on the green tick icon. When the class is set to by approval, you will receive an email like the one here, notifying you of a class member wanting to join the class. This is the same for students and teachers. The user will see this information on their device of waiting to join the class. It will tell them that a teacher must approve their request before they can participate. Clicking on the link within the email to review the request in Shobi will take the teacher to the class settings area shown earlier where you can approve or deny access. You can manage existing class members by navigating to the class in question for example, English, tapping on the settings icon and going to class members. Here you'll be able to see pending requests and a choice to either approve or deny access. You will also be able to manage users' existing permissions by selecting their name and clicking block from class. If you need to unblock students, Remember, you can do this by navigating to the Blocked Students tab. The same goes for teachers.